Okay, I'm going to get started. We're continuing with question number eight. Write the two half reactions for the following, then identify which one is oxidation and which one is reduction. Okay, so we have, let's start with Mg, is going to go to Mg2+, plus, and it looks like you will have to add two electrons to balance out the charges, and then... Fe3 plus goes to Fe2 plus, and you'll have to add one electron to the left side to balance out those charges. And which one is oxidation and which is reduction? So oil rig, oxidation is lose, reduction is gain. So we are losing electrons. The magnesium is losing electrons. It's becoming oxidation becoming oxidized and the Fe2 plus is gaining electrons so it's becoming reduced. Okay, put the steps of balancing redox reaction in order. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is to split the reaction into two half reactions. Um, that's just the first thing you always have to do before you can start balancing anything. Okay, and then remember we have our, we can always add like H2O and OH minus and H plus to either side. So we'll save that for later. First we want to balance all those elements other than hydrogen and oxygen. So that's A. Right, and then, so then we have hydrogen and oxygen we can add. And oxygen, we want, we want to make sure we add, we can always add hydrogen is H+, plus, but water we have to add is H2O, so we want to get all the oxygens balanced next, so that's D. And then last, so in terms of balancing, so we're almost done balancing all the elements, um, the last thing we'll want to do is balance the hydrogens, which is C. Okay, and so now we have all our elements, ba um, our elements balanced in our reactions. So next we want to make sure that the the charges in each individual half reaction work. So we'll have to add some electrons to balance those. Okay, and we have two left. So the next thing we'll want to do, so now we have all of our electrons balanced, we have all of our atoms balanced, but for each individual uh, re for each half reaction are balanced within each other, but we need to make sure that the two half re reactions balance each other in terms of charge wise. So those electrons are gonna cancel out. So then we're going to multiply the half reaction so that the electrons, uh, so that the electrons will balance out. And then the last thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna check it and make sure we did it correctly. Okay, balance the following redox reactions in acidic solution. So we'll go through all these steps. Um, first, we're going to break it up into two half reactions. So Zn goes to Zn2 plus, plus 2e minus. Um, Ag plus goes to Ag plus e minus. Okay, so the zincs are balanced, the silvers are balanced. Um, we don't have any hydrogens or oxygens to worry about, so our elements are all balanced. Now we just need to balance, um, the charges are balanced. We just need to make sure that our, um, electrons cancel out. So we can multiply this by two, so we have two electrons on each side. Then we can add them up, um, I'm gonna write it over here, so Zn plus Ag plus goes plus two Ag plus goes to Zn two plus plus two Ag. So there we have our balanced reaction. Um, we'll do the same thing for the next one. Um, I'm actually going to go down to this page and write it here because. I have more space. So we go I2 goes to IO3 minus, and we have 
NO3 minus goes to NO2. So we'll start with this top one, this I2. So let's see, we need to balance the iodine first. Then we'll balance the oxygen. These are in acidic condition, so we, we add H plus um, to balance the to balance the hydrogens. Um, oh, you know what? I forgot I multiplied this by I did the same thing. Okay. So actually what we're doing is um, remember we have six oxygens on the side, so we'll actually need six of those, which means we need 12 H plus. Um, and then to add electrons, see we'll have two, negative two plus 12 is 10 electrons. Okay, and then on this side, so our nitrogens are balanced. We'll have to add a water to this side to balance the oxygens. Um, we'll have to add two hydrogens over here to balance the hydrogens on the other side. And then we'll need to add an electron to balance the charges. But we need 10 electrons on this side, so we'll have to multiply this whole thing by 10. So what it's going to come out to is we have I2 plus, let's see, we have 6H2O on this side and 10H2O on this side. So no H2O on that side plus NO3 minus. See, and we have 2H plus on this side, but 12 on the other side. So we'll leave that too. Um... No, we have 20 on this side and 12 on this side, don't we? So we'll have 8H+. plus. Because um, I forgot to multiply that by 10. Forgot to multiply this by 10, too. Um, and then that will go to... See, we have 2IO3 minus... Um, plus 10NO2 plus 10H2O. And... That, oh, but it's not 10, remember? We canceled it out. So we had H2O on the other side, too. So it is plus, let's see, we have 6H2O over here and 10 over here, so that's 4H2O. And there we go. So balance the redox reactions in the basic solution. We're going to do the same, same thing, only this time instead of adding... H plus, we have to add OH minus. So we'll go over how to do that. So AG goes to AG2O. And plus, you know, actually, I'm going to, how long has it been? I haven't been, I, you know, whatever. Um, okay, so I don't know what I'm doing with this. Okay, so AG goes to AG2O, um, multiply by 2 to balance the silvers. We we'll have to add H2O to balance the oxygen. And we have 2 H2O. So we'll need to add, basically if you add... OH minus plus H2O, or minus H2O, really. If you have an OH minus and you take away an H, and you, mm, I, so if you have H, OH minus goes to H2O, so basically you're canceling out, so this side has plus hydrogen, because the O's are going to cancel in two of the H's. Or H2O goes to OH minus, you'll have this side will ha be like having a plus H. So which side do we need H's on? So we need H's on this side. So we'll add H2O, we'll add 2H2O to this side. Then we'll add 2OH minus to this side. And 
think yep I think that that works okay and then the other half reaction oh I guess you can't see that can you is AG two um, it's not anything to do with AG2. It is Zn2 plus goes to Zn. And let's see. So you'll have to add two electrons to this side to balance it, to balance out the charges. And I forgot to add the electrons up here. Um, if you have a charge of negative two on the side, you'll need a charge of negative two on the right side as well. So we'll add the two E minus. Uh, those cancel out, and then we can just add everything together. Um, remember, we did something weird with the water, so we can just say H2O and O. Um, so then we'll add those together, and we get 2AG plus 2OH minus plus ZN2 plus goes to AG2O plus H2O plus Zn. And then the last one, NH3, so we'll go ahead and divide it into two half reactions. So we have NH3 goes to N2H4, and we have ClO minus goes to Cl minus. So the top one everything's balanced except for the let's see no we have to balance the hydrogen so we'll multiply that by two or we'll ha we have to balance the nitrogen sorry then we have we need to add two hydrogens to this side so we'll again since this is a basic solution we'll add two h2o to this side and two oh minus to the opposite side um and then we'll need two electrons on the side to make the charges balance on each side uh clo minus we will have to add a water to make the oxygens balance but then we'll have to add two hydrogens to the other side so we'll have to add 2H2O plus 2OH minus. And then we have a charge of negative 1 on this side and a charge of negative 3 on this side. So we'll have to add two electrons to this left side before we can add them up and get the final, final equation. Let's see, let's do a little canceling. So the H2Os can cancel. The OH minuses can cancel, the electrons cancel, and then we are left with 2NH3 plus ClO minus goes 2N2H4 plus Cl minus plus H2O. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching.